Business and development reporter Dan Gross spoke to one of the biggest business leaders in our community about what could be done differently in our state. Dan joins us now in the studio with that story. Dan. Teresa, first I want to say I've covered a lot of positive business and development stories for about a year now, but I've heard a common complaint. It can be expensive and hard to do business in New York. A new study from WalletHub, that's a personal finance company, ranked New York as the 38th best state to start a business in the country. This survey looked at five categories. For this story, we're going to be focusing on two since they apply well to our area. We're 47th in office space affordability and fifth in human capital. Bob Duffy with the Greater Rochester Chamber of Commerce says this is a lower ranking that he usually sees while adding that things are improving in New York, but says tax reform could help. And one of the biggest areas for growth is to reduce taxes on businesses because by and large, it's not a, a CEO running off with a golden parachute as much as that, that money gets reinvested in those businesses. On office space now, multiple towns have been building mixed-use developments to create this office space or are working to revitalize old blighted areas or vacant buildings to create into business space. The Republican State Senate released their legislative priorities saying they are targeting legislative change to help businesses. In the governor's state of the state address, business legislation is mentioned mainly to help businesses navigate new climate change law. Duffy agrees on legislative changes, adding regulatory change can help too. I've had people tell me they would rather go to a bank than take a grant because a bank, you fill the paperwork, you'll get the money. Sometimes grants and sometimes the incentives that our state and other states offer, uh, the process is so cumbersome, it's sometimes easier to go to a local bank or a lender. That same study says that Utah is the best place to start a business and Rhode Island is the worst. If you want to check it out, we've got a link to it at rochesterfirst.com. Reporting in the studio, Dan Gross, News 8.